Yo, 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 what's good, fam? The fact, fam, get your boy JP Trap House Boxing, man, back in with another video. Shout out to the LDBC, man. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, share the video always, and leave thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for the school for street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. And every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the LDBC will be getting together, and that's when we'll be doing our, our uh, live hangouts on the Smoke City Mobcast. So make sure you go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. Hit that alert icon, and that way you don't miss this heat when we drop this heat on Wednesday night. So now you see it, man. Uh, you got David Benavides. He just straight annihilates Ronald Greville, man, uh, in better fashion this time. You know, I watched like half of the fight, you know, last time when, when I kind of fell asleep on the first one because I was tired, but this one I caught the whole fight and, uh, you know, basically, you know, the way David Benavidez was beating up Ronald Gavir, you know, it was like he was trying his damnness to get him out of there and convince him that that uh, the first the first fight, you know, wasn't supposed to be, you know, the way it was, and David Benavidez said he suffered from a hand injury, you know, so he damn sure beat the hell out of Reveal tonight. Me personally, I didn't like Reveal's game plan, you know, I thought he, he took way too many shots, um, <clears throat> way too much punishment. I don't know if, I, I didn't hear good in the corner instructions, but I don't know what what uh you know uh my man Muhammad was telling him, you know, uh yeah, I didn't really hear the instructions but he he didn't do a good job tonight. You know, I mean he fought hard, he 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 had all the heart, he you know, had the will, he he was letting his hands go, you know, uh pretty pretty he was pretty busy but he wasn't like his game plan was just it was just the same routine over and over again the same old routine over and over again you know uh seemed like he was just glued to throwing straight straight jabs to to benavidez body all night and you know benavidez was just you know going downstairs on him benavidez was, was switching his attack up a whole lot more you know but me personally, I thought that they should have stopped this fight. You know, I don't think they should have let Gaville, you know, continue on this whole 12 rounds, you know, because he just took way too much punishment, man. He really did. You know, I hate and the dude tough, man. You know, I, I, I wonder if, if a war like this, you know, is going to fuck him up, you know, from now on. Because he, 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 he's, like, still early in his career. He's not, like... You know, it don't like he got a whole, whole bunch of fights, I don't believe. I don't think he got that many fights, but, yeah, man. You know, he could have he could have mixed it up with a lot of those other guys. But I don't know how this how this, this fight right here and the last one going to affect his, Ronald, uh, Ronald Gaville. I mean, Gaville's career, man, because he, he just been battered. But, uh... I don't know, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Should they have stopped this fight or what, man? Because he, to me, I didn't think he really won a round. He might have got the twelfth round. He got some success in the twelfth round. But this your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. <laughs>